Hello there, I recently talked about the British beaches and after repeated flooding and pollution, the British government presented a new plan to solve the problems. The responsibility now rests primarily with the companies. So after those nationwide outrage over sewage being dumped into the sea in Britain, the government is looking to reform the system. Wastewater companies are expected to invest a total of 56 billion pounds over the next 25 years. The goal is that by 2050 no more storm excesses are possible with the exception of unusually heavy rainfall. Environment Minister George Eustace defended the project on Saturday against criticism from the opposition. The projected additional cost to consumers of an average £42 a year by 2050 is well worth the price, useless told BBC Radio 4. In the UK, rainwater and sewage are routed to sewage treatment plants in the same pipes. When it rains heavily, however, the capacity is sometimes insufficient, especially when the dried up soil cannot absorb the water quickly, as was the case after the recent heat wave. This could lead to sewage treatment plants overflowing and flooding of houses and streets. For this reason, excess wastewater may occasionally be discharged directly into the sea and rivers. This has recently been used by a number of sewage treatment plants. Dozens of beaches were subsequently closed due to pollution. Quite a shit show there. According to a report by CNN, the south coast is said to be hardest hit. Brighton and Hove always seem to get flooded. That's what Hugo Tackholm, chairman of the Surface Against Sewage charity, told CNN. So far, the swim season Surface Against Sewage has locked 654 cases of sewage exceedances from 171 sites. In England alone, there were 15,000 points where overflow can flow out. This is a legacy of the Victorian sewage infrastructure, useless told BBC Radio 4. For decades, Conservatives and Labour governments alike have failed to reform to keep household utilities from increasing. Now it costs a moderate sum to fix the problem in the coming years. The opposition was appalled. Consumers would have to foot the bill for the mess that companies have made. That was said uh, said by Tim Farron of the Liberal Democrats. We are swimming in sewage while they make money, Farron said. Yeah, it's quite a thing if you leave behind to take care of something for such a long time. I'll see you in my next video. I'll be back.